Yep, park court baffling new, mud slinging, geyser erupts. Parts of Yellowstone National Park have been sectioned off after a newly formed thermal feature violently erupted scolding hot muck. The unexpected eruption saw a section of the park in Wyoming, USA showered with a blistering mixture of water, soil and sinter. Mineral deposits that are precipitated from hot springs. Geysers that have been inactive for the last five years are also warming up and throwing scalding water around. Which is a further sign that the park's hydrothermal systems are playing up. Geysers are a type of hot spring with a pipe-like hole in the ground that connects to a subsurface reservoir of water. Molten rock buried several miles inside the Earth's crust heats the water to boiling point which builds pressure in the chamber and forces water towards the surface. The remaining water begins to steam and eventually builds enough force to eject scorching hot water into the air. The eruption happened on Geyser Hill, near the famous Old Faithful Geyser. Michael Poland, a research geophysicist and scientist in charge at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, Told Live Science, the activity seems to have started on May 24. These hydrothermal systems are incredibly dynamic. The one constant is change. After two weeks of turmoil things are now cooling down but Mr. Poland warns there is still some restlessness there. He added that Geyser Hill will probably return to its previous state but the new feature could remain intermittently active so park rangers may have to reroute the boardwalk. Mr. Poland said, You can think of the system a bit like the plumbing in an old house. The pipes are corroded and might contain lots of mineral deposits, and small changes in pressure within the system can cause leaks to form. Mr. Poland said the unrest could be due to an awful lot of snow in Yellowstone in the past year which has resulted in more excess water in the subsurface. He added, All of these factors together can influence how geyser and hot spring systems behave and change over time. In September 2018 there were similar incidents of violent eruptions including the Ear Spring Geyser which ejected 80 years worth of human trash. Changes like those now occurring on Geyser Hill occur frequently in Yellowstone's Geyser Basins. Besides the September 2018 event on Geyser Hill, a major thermal event occurred in 2003 at Norris Geyser Basin, with the formation of several new features, eruptions of previously non-erupting pools, and a general increase in surface temperatures. This activity ultimately forced the rerouting of several boardwalks in the area. There was also the observation of a new thermal area that formed in the past 20 years near Turn Lake, on the east side of the park. In most geologic contexts, change is almost imperceptibly slow. This is not the case in hydrothermal areas, which are incredibly dynamic. By the same token, it is hard to predict the course this particular thermal event will take. Geyser Hill could rapidly cool off and return to its normal activity, or additional features could form or continue to grow.